video, I'll break down how to use the object tracker tool in Final Cut Pro 10. So you see right here, you basically have the logos of the different NFL teams tracked onto the different players. And obviously, this is supposed to be, you know, like a funny meme. Obviously, you know, if you don't watch the NFL, you're not going to, you know, really get the joke. But it's basically you know, an NFL meme. So you can use this um, tool for multiple different things for like, you know, really cool effects that you have to track effects or text onto a subject. Or you can use this effect for this really popular, you know, meme that everyone, you know, loves to do. And I, I really enjoy um, creating these. Or I enjoy creating these and I enjoy watching these if you want me to do like more like you know meme edits on the channel Definitely go ahead and let me know my channel is more geared towards more serious You know music video hype video hype video edits if you want to sort of I want to see more meme video edits like this Definitely go ahead and let me know but you can use this feature to create these really cool You know funny memes now if you're wondering you know, okay, well, let's get to the point You know how much does the plugin cost? There is no plugin. It doesn't cost anything. It's actually built into Final Cut Pro 10. Now you're gonna have to update Final Cut to I believe 10.6, where you'll get this feature to be able to use the object tracker in Final Cut. So actually, it's it's not a plugin. It costs nothing. It's completely free and built into Final Cut. All you have to do is update the program to 10.6. Now the first thing you want to do is obviously take your clip and place it on the timeline. Now I want to warn you, this feature, this tool isn't going to work on every single clip, but 99% of the time this feature is going to work. I just want to let you, you know, just kind of give you a warning that it's not always going to work, so just keep that in mind. Make sure you know you're aware of your clip, and you know, make it's not going to work with every single clip. You want to make sure that you can really kind of see the person. So if I play it right here, this clip is going to kind of work a little bit because you can see you can see Derrick Henry's helmet pretty much the entire time. If, for example, maybe he went off screen or maybe somebody ran in front of him, it would be really hard to track. So just keep that in mind when you're you know going through you know tracking your video. It's not going to work for every single clip, but you know again most of the time it's going to work and it's actually after using this for a couple of days I'm actually really impressed I think this is actually a really good feature obviously it's not compared to like after effects but to be honest I think this is actually pretty impressive it is a really good job of tracking so what you want to do is you want to just take your clip right here place it on the timeline and you want to go ahead and basically create a new tracker so let's head over here to the video inspector so you want to go to the video inspector and just scroll down until you find trackers right here all you want to do is click on right here click this little plus icon as you can see you have created a new tracker now basically you want to adjust this tracker to fit the actual subject or fit what you're trying to track and basically you see right here this little circle is to basically make it more circular and then you have these orange points to kind of shrink it um, in a little bit and then you have this little thing to rotate it right here So let's take the object tracker drag it on to Derrick Henry and I'm just going to zoom into let's say like 400 um, Percent so let's take the object tracker as you can see again, you know, it's not gonna be perfect I'm definitely gonna go a little bit fast But I just want to kind of give you the basic idea of how to use this So all you're gonna do right here is let's just take the object tracker and you, know, you want to make it bigger or smaller It's completely dependent on what you want to do. So let's try this again I'm not sure if I said this before but a lot of it is trial and error You have to just kind of you know, figure out what works what doesn't work So it's gonna be a, um, definitely a lot of trial and error. So I think that's pretty good So let's apply right here. So on Derek Henry's you just take the object tracker now let's head out to fit right here and then what you want to do next is you want to go over here to analyze you just want to analyze the clip now it doesn't matter where you start it's going to analyze the clip forward and it's going to analyze the clip backwards so what you want to do is you can see right here analyze in both directions so if I click on analyze what it's going to do is you can see it doesn't take that long it's going to really start tracking Derrick Henry's head so let's go back and then there you go so let's head over to the clip right here and kind of just go frame by frame and see how good Final Cut is as you see right here it's basically just tracking Derek Henry now it's doing a pretty good job it's jumping around here and then I'll go ahead and show you um, how to fix it but as you can see it's actually doing a pretty good job for a program like Final Cut where you think you know this feature wouldn't even you know remotely work I think it's actually doing a pretty good job so you can see right here it jumps around a little bit right there so let's go down let's go a couple frames again this is not gonna be perfect you know I'm going a little bit um you know faster obviously take a lot more time and effort you know when, it, when it's like a series clip but I'm just kind of going fast so let's say maybe like right here the tracker kind of goes off so let's place a marker okay how do you fix that well, what you want to do is you want to zoom back into 400 percent or you know 600 percent depending on what you want to do take the object tracker and then just readjust the object tracker so let's move it up over here i wouldn't you know, adjust it too much but let's adjust the tracker and now what you want to do is now don't move your clip or anything like that basically where you adjust the tracker click on this little arrow icon because it's going to analyze 
from Playhead. So it's going to reanalyze it. So if I click right here, now it's going to analyze Ford with all the new tracking data. Again, of course, it's not going to be perfect, but let's play the clip right here. Let's see how good Final Cut did. So you see, it's doing a pretty good job of tracking to the subject. As you can see right here, the, the tracker jumps um, a little bit right there. So I would, you know, definitely go ahead and fix that. But just for the sake of the video, as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job of tracking um, Derek Henry's head right there or Derek Henry's helmet. So it's doing honestly a pretty good job. Obviously, like you know, I keep saying go through and fix it, you know, more and more. But this is just I just want to give you a quick overview of how to use this tool. Obviously, you know, it would take a little more time to go through, but as you can see, in like four or five minutes, you can track this subject, and it's actually really um, impressive. Now, if you're still having problems, another thing I would do is head over to the tracker, just click on the tracker right here. And if you're having, you know, other problems or that you it's still not tracking, I would head over to analysis method, scroll down and then choose on combined machine learning and point cloud. And remember whatever analyst method, analysis method you pick, you want to go ahead and click over here, go back to, um, re, you want to reanalyze the clip. So if you change the analysis method, I would make sure to go ahead and reanalyze the clip. So if this doesn't work, if automatic doesn't work, try, try to switch the analysis method and see if that you improves the tracking. Another really helpful tip, if I go ahead and click on done, I'm going to go over here to the object tracker and I'm just going to double click it right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and rename it. Now this is really helpful if you have multiple trackers. So I'm going to click on done. Now the tracker that we just created is labeled Derek Henry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my video or head over to my media right here and click something I want to track. So let's say I want to track uh, maybe this Bengals logo right here. So find something you want to track, place it onto the timeline. Now this also works for videos too. So just place it onto the timeline. What you want to do is go over here to the transform tool. You want to go to under tracker right here. And as you can see right here, we renamed this Derek Henry. So now it's basically, now it's you know, connected to the tracker we just created. And that's why it's really important to make sure you um, rename your trackers or else it's going to get really confusing. So let's take this scale, let's adjust the scale all the way down. Again, I'm just going on you know, quick, obviously I would put a lot more time and effort into this, but let's just take the Bengals logo and let's see how this did for like a quick, you know, six minute track. Obviously put more time and effort into it, but let's just see how well this does if I just, you know, spend like, you know, five, six minutes, go pretty quick on this. So let's play it right here and let's see if the Bengals logo is tracked. As you can see, there we go. So this is actually doing a really good job. The Bengals logo is completely tracked to Derrick Henry's head. As you can see, like I keep saying, it's actually doing a pretty good job. As you can see, like you, you, you it's definitely, I think it would surprise most, most people people I um, mean you know, how good this tracker is it's actually pretty impressive um, what Final Cut did they really put time and effort or his Apple they really put time and effort into really you know you know I feel like fine-tuning this feature it's actually quite impressive so it's completely tracked to Derrick Henry's head which is really nice so if you want to do a quick little tracker that is definitely one thing you can do now another thing you can do too is let's say I don't like I don't want the rotation if I click on this little, if I click on the video right here, go to hide right here, or should I mean, I'll click on, and make sure you clicked on the actual um, icon thing you tracked. Go over here to this little tracker icon right, right next to hide. Click on this tracker right here, and as you can see right here, you can uncheck the rotation. So let's say I don't want the rotation to be included in the tracker. That's one thing you do. You can go ahead, you know, check um, you know, scale or whatever you want, position. But let's uncheck rotation. Now, as you can see, it's not going to um, rotate. Which, in my opinion, I think for the most case. Keeping the rotation on is probably going to look a little bit more natural, or else it's going to look a little too stale. But as you can see, that's doing a really good job of tracking, um, Der tracking right to Derrick Henry's um, head. Now you might say that's great, but can I track effects onto the actual person? And the answer is yes. So I have this clip of Polo G. Now I'm going to head over here to the effects panel, and I'm just going to type in sensor. Let's say I want to censor his face. I can actually take the effect and then drag it right onto his face, drag it right on the clip. As you can see, it the AI recognizes that as a face. So if I click on it right here, you can just drag it right onto the subject and it's going to analyze that or you see see that as a face. So that's really cool. You, you can see as an object, as a face. The AI is actually pretty impressive. So it's actually like using AI, which is really cool. Now what you want to do is head over here to analyze and just analyze the clip right here. So let's see how well it's doing again. 
again, it's probably not going to do you know a super great job. As you can see, it's doing a pretty good job tracking to Polo G. It's definitely a really hard click because he's really moving his head. As you can see, Final Cut's doing a pretty good job of tracking um, Polo G. As you can see, you know it messes up here and there, so I would go through and readjust it. But as you can see, it's doing a pretty good job. He's really, really moving all around, so it's honestly pretty impressive. You know how well it's doing. So if I play the clip, let's see how well it does. Tracking too. Now you see it messes up the face a little bit right here. So you can see right here, it's messing up. You can still see um, his face. So there's a couple of things, a couple of ways to uh, fix it. You head over here and I can go to the shape mask and adjust the shape mask. But remember, if you're going to adjust the shape mask, you see I'm also adjusting the tracker, and I don't want to adjust the size of the tracker. So if you're going to adjust the shape mask, make sure you unlink it, and now I can adjust the shape mask. As you can see right here, I can adjust the shape mask, and it's not adjusting the tracker. So if you're going to adjust the shape mask, make sure to unlink it from the tracker, because if you, if you don't, you're also going to be adjusting the tracker, and you may not want to do that. So that's just you know, something to keep um, in mind. Now, another thing you can do too is you can actually click on the sensor effect and you know adjust it on the screen I wouldn't always encourage you to do that but I have found sometimes actually just adjusting the effect can actually help that's just something that I found I don't think it works all the times but I just want to you know, include a couple things that I've learned just you know give you some little tips and tricks or like things um, that have helped me so let's see it's messing up his face how do I fix that well let's go to the actual effect itself and let's crank up the radius right here so I'm just going to crank up the radius so let me let's say like 600 so now let's see how well that tracked Polo G's face I'll wait for Final Cut to render and let's see how well it tracked his face so if I play it right here as you can see right here his face is completely censored so you may want to increase the radius a little bit more but as you can see it's completely tracked Polo G's face so as you can see it's doing a pretty good job even though the tracker isn't perfect all you want to do is just increase the size of the effect just so you cover the entire face but as you can see that's pretty impressive it's tracking right to Polo G's face and completely censoring um, out his face now you may think to yourself okay how do I get back Back to the actual tracker controls on the screen well if I head over to this little white circle click on this white circle as you can see now you have the tracker controls or the tracker interface so now you can readjust the tracker again so as you can see right here again we'll play one more time it's completely tracked to Polo G's face so you could do this to text you can do this to other effects but as you can see it's just really cool it just saves you a lot of time and Final Cut's honestly pretty impressive it's doing a really good job of tracking his face anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, I have a playlist with over 290 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So you want to watch more videos like this, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. We have tons of really cool um, tutorials just like this one. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.